Something I like in Photoshop is the legacy shapes, the old shapes that used to be available that don't seem available at first glance in Photoshop 2025, but they are. So if you go to your shapes uh, tool here, and it may look like a rectangle or ellipse or something like that, you want to go to custom shape tool. And then on the top, my initial instinct was to get my legacy shapes here by dropping it down, but I can see um, it's got all of the current shapes that are available, which is kind of skimpy, not the best options. And I thought I could hit this menu and add the legacy shapes here, but it's just not available. But you can still get them. It's just a matter of needing the actual shapes panel. So if I go to window, go down to shapes, I'll get the shapes panel and I can see it looks pretty much the same as it did up here, but there's this little menu option now. So if I select that, I can go down to legacy shapes and more, hit that, and now I have access to all the old legacy shapes. Like, um, there's just so many more options, emoticons, buildings, uh, symbols, everything you could want. I don't know why they made this so hard to get to, but it is um, definitely something I still use and enjoy. So if you want your legacy shapes back, you just have to open up that separate window and then go to the menu, and then it should be there um, and, totally able to be used. So here's a snail. <laughs> and remember with a shape, you can either make it a path or a shape. So the path is just the outline and then the shape would be a filled in uh, colored version. So obviously you know what your needs are. You know what you want to do with these things. I'm just showing you how to get to them. And I hope that this helped you guys. If it did, check out my playlist in Photoshop for more. I've got tips and tricks just like this, and I will see you in another video.